In the ninth question, we have, okay, there's a 4x plus 2 outside, and in the under root, we have x square plus x plus 1. It looks complicated, right? So, you can use this substitution, x square plus x plus 1 equal to t. But for that, the derivative of x square plus x plus 1, what is that? 2x plus 1 should have been outside. Now, 2x plus 1, okay, this is 4x plus 2, but you can take out a factor of 2 common. This becomes 2x plus 1 times 2, yes? And that's the standard substitution now. This is 2 times 2x plus 1 under root of x square plus x plus 1 dx. This is what you have. And now we'll use the substitution x square plus x plus 1 is equal to t, which tells me, okay, 2x plus 1 times dx is equal to dt. Therefore, integral i simplifies to what? i will be equal to integral of 2x plus 1 times dx is dt, okay. There is a 2 remaining outside, that will remain over here, that can go outside the integral. This is root of x square plus x plus 1, which is root x, root t, sorry. Okay, that's pretty simple, which gives me i is equal to 2 is okay. The integral of root t will be t power 3 by 2 upon 3 by 2 plus constant of integration. This is 4 by 3 times t power 3 by 2. Now, t is this x square plus x plus 1 power 3 by 2 plus the constant of integration and that's the required answer for this question as you can see over here. This is ninth question for us.